Hey everybody, it's Dave, Blue Jacket 66 here for a quick video. Just back uh, from Kansas City last night after doing that uh, fantastic uh, family basement sale of a lot of sports cards and sports memorabilia. If you want to look into that a little bit, you can check out my last video or Mike Moynihan, Baseball Collector, his video. Uh, there's not a great deal of detail of what was found down there because it was so much and it needs to be sorted through. But back last night, and the purpose of this video is really to show off an amazing card that was waiting for me uh, via head FedEx. Um, I'm thrilled about this fantastic Christy Matheson card. I have a large Christy Matheson uh, collection. I uh, kind of focus on him a little bit in the, in the pre-war, uh, but this may be... Uh, uh, my best Christy Matthewson card. But before we get to that, I do want to, as a YouTube uh, sports card Hall of Famer, want to address this uh, YouTube Hall of Fame uh, topic a little bit. Specifically, are there clicks within the YouTube Hall of Fame, Hall of Famer community? Yes, there are. Okay, let's get on with this candy card that I want to show you of Christy Matthewson. First of all, I'm a big pre-war collector and I really, really love uh, the candy issues. Um, there's extensive amount of, of candy issues, but uh, not just the local mom and pops and the unknowns and the anonymous issues that are so fascinating, but there's the good, the big uh, candy uh, companies, the, you know, Philadelphia Caramel, Williams Caramel, uh, the American uh, Caramel, produced huge amounts of uh, cards, as did smaller uh, candy company, you know, um, smaller as in Collins McCarthy, which are still huge, but smaller, and Bryce Williams, all the way down to Oxford Confectionery and uh, uh, Plows Candy. There's just so many of them, and they're so rare and so cool, and we don't know enough about them. And the card I'm going to show, we know very little about, and I'm going to show a Matthewson card that is so rare uh, that you may never see it again. I have never seen it before, although I think perhaps it had been mentioned in an old Net54 post going back to 2008. I'm not sure about that. But these, uh, some of these unknown, either called E-unknown uh, candy issues, were actually part not only placed in boxes of candy, but some of them were on the boxes of candy. Um, some examples of these all-star uh, cards that are not, ver they're very, very rare, but not very desirable. I've shown you before, very recently in, in some of my videos, my 1910 uh, E-Unk uh, Orange Borders cards. Uh, which are just ultimately cool. And as you can see here, they were on uh, the panel of boxes of candy, and I suppose they probably had some toys in them as well. That's the orange borders. Very similar as well. Those were in 1910, were the 1911 12 baseball bats uh, cards that were as well cut off a candy box. I don't think I've ever seen a baseball bats intact box before, but you can find the players panels and they are super rare in the uh, uh, Hall of Famers and the uh, top tier Hall of Famers are incredibly uh, expensive. But a card that I've shown before that is very rare and so cool is another issue of the uh, 1910 E candy. Now, I, in a prior videos, have shown you my Christy Matthewson. Um, and what this was is cut off a, a candy box, nicely uh, cut off, uh, as you see. Um, and there's just a handful of those Matthewsons. Um, you don't see them, obviously, very often. Is cards like this tend to disappear in collections and stay in collections. But a few months ago, uh, up for auction came a Matthewson that had even more of the candy box panel on it with the diamond around it. 
that is the baseball diamond and the base pass, that blew me away. I'm not sure what the checklist is on these cards. I think it's small. I think it's perhaps six or so. Uh, there is a Wagner. Uh, there is, I believe, a Cy Young. You don't see them. So I got the Matthewson cut out, as I'd shown, uh, several years ago, and it is like a highlight of my Matthewson collection. But I saw this card with the uh, base pass that came to auction a few months ago. I was blown away and really, really, really had to have that. When I say have to have that, uh, I really, really wanted it. Um, and uh, it went to auction and I bid so, so strong. I'd never seen a Matheson with Bates Pass before. I've never seen another 1910 Eon Candy uh, panel with the base pass before, uh, although I knew there existed, but I missed out on it. And lo and behold, uh, a couple months later, the impossible happened. Uh, I immediately uh, contacted Rick, who is with Rick's Vintage Oddball Cards, let him know what I saw. He gave me the green light. I always, he's a Matthewson collector. I wanted to see if he was, uh, I don't like bidding against uh, fellow YouTubers and fellow collectors. He gave me the green light. A couple other people gave me the green light and the thumbs up and the good luck. And uh, this card is beyond, for the pre-war collector, for the Masson collector, for the candy collector. I've seen this card I've never seen this card even mentioned or talked about. I think I heard it mentioned about 20 years ago. Is They thought someone had had it. Um, but I saw this card in Huggins and Scott. You may have a glimpse of it in my uh, national uh, video. And uh, I'll be honest with you, unless things got really insane, I was not going to be denied on it. You won't, you know, you say you're not going to see this card again and then Six months later, a year later, all of a sudden, an another one pops up. But this a base pass Matthewson's with base pass. I think there's three known. and But this one is different. As you will see, it is crazy. Uh, this will dive into a, my collection and probably not surface again uh, until uh, I'm gone. Um, this, this is a type of card that people on forums down the years from now talk about a card and they say, wasn't there once this and who owns that card and nobody knows. Um, but here it is, the 1910 Eunk Candy Christy Matthewson, the full panel. It's got the base pass. It's got the balls. You, that seen just the cutout card is extraordinarily rare to find a Matthewson. To find the base pass, they usually cut it out right along the base pass. There's a couple known. But here is perhaps the only time in our lifetime we will see it. Uh, and I think pre-war collectors will agree. Full panel, 1910 Eunk, Christy Matthewson. The image, the base pass, the baseballs on it, I didn't, even know, I didn't know this existed. Did not even know it existed. Um, so this, for uh, candy collectors and pre-war collectors, take a look on that 54 I'm Stone Pony if you wanna mention it decades from now, that who has it? There it is. Wow, and uh, thanks for watching.